Welcome, where are we off to today? We're gonna go, well I purchased a 1957 Chevy 210 sedan and we're gonna go pick that up today. I know we're more of an Alice Chalmers show but we're changing it up a little bit. Uh, we're planning on pre probably maybe, that, maybe having a little mini series go about us fixing it up so maybe we'll uh, see you when we're loading it up onto the trailer. Here we are in beautiful downtown Raymond, Minnesota. Raymond actually used to have an Alice Chalmers dealer. That's that building right in front of you. Um, they were called Bolter and Son. I'm not sure when they closed, but I have a sign from them at home. I'll have to show it to you. Dusty and dirty, but I think under that she'll she'll shine pretty well, pretty well. Now you've been looking for a classic car for a while, haven't you? Yeah. Luckily, Jim he found uh, he found. I think it's a fairly good deal on it, so I think I could. For what it is, I think it's pretty good, and it's a nice car. It's I mean it's one of the classics. Granted, it's a four door, but I mean you gotta start somewhere. For a first for a first classic, I think it's pretty darn good. And cool. So here she is in all her glory, the 1957 Chevy four-door, 210. 210. Uh, she's looking pretty good. She's got the six-cylinder. I'm hoping that we can get this baby running and just cruise it like that. Otherwise, if it's not, we might have some different plans for it, obviously. Maybe a bigger engine. Uh, I mean, there's rust, but for Minnesota, I mean, this is pretty good considering it's a Minnesota car. Interiors, I mean, fairly clean. I'm gonna have to vacuum out the mouse poop, per usual. She's been she's been sitting a while. I would say that you could probably categorize this as a barn find. Trunk, I don't know if them are the original wheels or not. You probably, if anybody knows, who knows. This is probably the best side of it. Looking at her, no dents little i mean still some rust but i'm thinking if we wash her up she's kind of got a lot of dirt and poop on it but if we wash it up i think she'll clean up pretty nice and give her a good old vacuum and some air fresheners and she'll be looking good at least then the next step will be getting her running so exciting stuff only about an hour away from home so couldn't go wrong but that's all for now, signing off.